Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. We're just going to bring the fire and we are going to talk about Canva landing pages and website. So I hope you're excited to learn about this. Does anybody use Canva for landing pages or websites right now? Anybody? No? Okay. Well, then I'm in the right place. I'm going to show you how cool and easy it is to do right through Canva. So I'm going to hop right in to share my screen. Uh, oh, by the way, I am Wendy God. Here, real estate boss in Las Vegas. Joanne reminds me that I have to uh, say who I am, cause just in case you don't know. So now you know. Um, and I'm just here living the dream in Canva world. So, okay. So when I talk about a landing page, um, what kind of landing pages can we do? We can do a landing page for a community, right? So bring a community photo. Here's, you know, that community news, maybe events, um, maybe houses for sale in that community. So that would be like a community page. You can do a, a landing page for a property. So say you have a property um, that you are listing, you want to pop that in, but you want to also add stuff about the community, you know, and all the pictures and the video. And so you can build your own property websites right through here. Um, I use Eon for that because they do a much better job than me and they look beautiful. So anyway, but you can do that. Um, and then like guides. So if you guys have like, uh, living in Las Vegas guides, um, uh, uh, moving to like, um, buyer guides, seller guides, like whatever guides you guys have that you want to do, you could create a landing page for that guide and have them fill out a form, right? So that you can uh, capture their name, email, and phone number. And then um, and then when they do that, you get their information and then you send them the guide, right? So you'll send them whatever they're clicking on. So, um, so I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about that um, right here. This is the first thing that we are talking about. Um, this is like my little community uh, landing page that I made for my new listing because it's not really in our area. So I wanted to bring in information about that area. So all I did was uh, create this Mount Charleston. I put this awesome picture in there um, from the area. The area photo is kind of important, right? You want it to look the part. And then I found a couple articles and then uh, some some Mount Charleston events. So and then I just kind of linked them to each of those. So that is an idea that you can do. Um, but we're going to go back here. So I want to kind of show you from the beginning um, how you get started doing it. So say a uh, landing page. If you type landing page in that search tool, you'll get all these different things that you can do. Um, this was like the one um, Katrina was talking about on my call. You could literally put your picture in there and have like your website or shop for homes here or find me on Facebook or TikTok or whatever. Wherever you want to send people, you can make your own little link tree right in Canva. And then you turn it into a website and that's what you can share with people or free. So you can basically turn anything in Canva into a website. Like we have net sheets that I want a link to, right? So that I could put it in my um, my email that goes out to sellers. Uh, so we have net sheets, we can create right in here and then turn it right into a website. Um, but we're going to talk about landing pages. So if you want to go with like... Let's see, what do I want? I have no idea. Let's just do this. Get healthy. We're gonna we're gonna click on this and we're gonna recreate it because we're not gonna do one about getting healthy. 
But like, say I go here to my uploads and I want to do like a Lake Las Vegas one. So I could put my Lake Las Vegas picture in there or I could put our property that we listed right in there, right? And then you can you can do your little um, uh, tabs right here and you can link you can link it. So if you click on home, you can go here, you can go here and you can link it like maybe to, you know, whatever, like pictures. You can say pictures, info. So this is how you can create your own little property site. Okay. But if you wanted to create more like the community page, yeah, you could go here. You can say, ah, change this to Lake. Las Vegas, and then just kind of go there and there, center it. So you can do that. And then we're going to delete all this. And then say I want to go and add some elements, I can add. Um, circle frame is my favorite. So I'm going to pop that in here. Maybe like right there. We're going to control C, control V, control V. We're going to make three. I, I just did like a control and then um, control V. But I want to take out these. Then I want to make that there, right there. So maybe something like that. Katrina did teach me something. To, she said you can go like that and click on. Uh, what did she say to make it aligning? An aligning? Yes. Just tidy, tidy up something. Yeah, that? where's tidy? I don't know what it is. Tidy up, tidy oh, up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is a game changer right there. Because I'll sit there and stare at a document forever, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. But anyway, so super excited about this. Okay, so here's our Lake Las Vegas page, and then I can go here and say Lake Las Vegas news. And then I can go, and you want to make sure you don't grab something from someone else's web page. Uh, so I'm going to go Las Vegas Review Journal. That is our um, local journal. And then maybe save image as OLV into my downloads. Then I'm going to take this link right here to this article. And say uh, here, I'm gonna go to upload, and then I'm gonna upload that picture I just did there. And then I'm gonna drag it into a circle, and then I'm going to create uh, some text. No LV news, maybe something like that. And you can go here, drag it under the picture. We'll make that white so we can see it. And then we're going to link it to that um, website. Okay, then. So I just highlighted it, press the link, there it goes. Or you can go like this, just in case you think they might click the picture. You can highlight all of it together and then put the link there. That way, if they click the picture, they're also going to go there. Okay. So, um, so there's some LLB news. Maybe you want to go back here and do like Lake Las Vegas event. I'm going to click on event right here. These are all the Lake Las Vegas events. 
I think. Why is it saying Lake Las Vegas? Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's not there. Okay, you want to find a better one. So if you go to, I like Facebook events. So if you go to events, right? Is this events? No. Yes. Discover events. We want to go here and we want to go Wake Las Vegas. Lake Las Vegas. Okay. Talk dirty to me, book club. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, so you could actually go and save this search right here. And then maybe grab this picture. Let's look at this picture. Uh, save image as uh, LLV events. Then we're going to go uploads. And this is just a quick community page. Obviously, you can spend a lot more time on it. But I'm going to just drag this into that circle and copy and paste. Uh, and we're going to say events. Maybe I'll even take out LLB. That looks dumb. Well, news, events. Don't forget, we have a link going to this. When you copy and paste, it gives you a different event. So we want to edit this one. Oops. Going back. Copy in the events for like Las Vegas. Uh, here. Kind of stressed. We only have 30 minutes, so this is very long. Okay, so events done. And then, like I said, you could also drag it across all of this, group it together, and do the link there. Just in case they click on that, they're also going to go there. And then maybe we want to do... Um, one for real estate. We'll just take my home that I already have listed in there and pop it in there. And then we're going to go control C, control V. We'll call this homes for sale. All right. Now the fun part. We can go over here to our CRM or whatever website that you have that you set people up on searches. And you can go here to build a squeeze page, Lake Las Vegas, Lake Las Vegas neighborhood. And then I want to do home, single family. And I'm just going to do all homes, right? So you can have, so this is a landing page that doesn't require registration. I mean, it, it might, but, you know, you probably, if, if you require registration to get the page, <laughs> then don't do this. But if it's open, I would do like 10 property views allowed, generate link, and then this is the link you are going to send people to so they can take a peek at some of your stuff. We're going to edit that. Should be this. Done. Oh, wow. Done. 
All right. So now you have a quick landing page for this property. So we could take out these things here and you can pop this into your property website. So, um, so say you already have a property for sale and you want to, you know, add a link to it. So that's kind of what I did here. I have a property site for this one. Uh, through, like I said, Eon, he does, he does my property websites. But if you view this website, right, here's the property one. Here's all the good stuff. But then he has little links right here. So he linked it to my Mount Charleston news. And that's where the landing page comes up. Pretty cool, right? So you could do that on my Lake Las Vegas property. So guess what? We just worked on my homework together because now I'm going to have him put this same link on my Lake Las Vegas property so that they can have uh, information about that. So pretty neat, huh? Uh, as far as uh, creating a form inside of Canva. So let's go back to this girl. Okay, and let's say you have a guide. Well done. Let me go back to, um, let me pull up one of my guides so you can see what I'm talking about. What time is it? How are we doing? 8.19. Okay. So, this right here, search for more guides. We're living in Las Vegas. So, say you have a living in your area guide. Everybody should, right? You could take some of the pages, like this one. I can just go here, download. I'm going to download a picture. Not all 22 pages, just like page one. Download that. And then I'm going to do another page. Download uh, not all pages. But let's say we want to do... Um, golf courses. I think that's golf courses. Done. Download. So you're going to take like little pages out of your guide. And then I'm going to show you. Oh, here's some gems. That's dog parks right there. Those are events. I like to do it one at a time because then I don't have to deal with a zip file. So if you guys are wondering why I feel like I'm going the wrong or the long way. That's why. Oh no, it looks like it downloaded the whole thing. Shoot. Um pick out that. And then like these are events. Fun. Download. Okay. Download one more. Undo that. Go find. Let's see what else do we got. Well, I don't know what I mean. Well, I'll do that one. Okay, so here's some pages out of my guide. So then I'm going to go back to her. Go back to her. And then... Yeah, I don't like any of it. So, um, but you can take this. Let's just use this picture for, um, for a backdrop. Okay. And then, uh, we're going to, okay, see, that's a zip file. I don't want that. I'm going to upload these. I just clicked on all of them. So we're going to give them like a sample of uh, everything. Okay, so here 
here. Obviously, you're going to want to make this a little better, but I'm just kind of trying to hurry through so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about when I say building this. So, so you can um, put these pages like however you want, right? Obviously, we want to not cover up everything, but kind of give them an idea, you know, of what they're going to get. So you can layer them, layer, bring forward. Okay, so uh, let's just say there's our stuff right there. Delete. And then text. Green. Ew, I don't like that. Green. Living in Las Vegas guide. Okay, we're going to take this, go up here, make it white so I can't see it. And then this is where it gets cool. So you want to get a lead, right? So if you go to Google and you create a form, we do not have time to create a form, but I'm going to show you uh, one that I just did. So... Creating a form is a whole different class. And this is just really simple. Living in Las Vegas guide, email name, phone number, right? So so you want to take that and you want to click send. And you want to copy, copy this link right here. Then you're going to go back to Canva. And then you're going to go to your apps. And you're going to uh, type in embed. Click on the embed tool, put your link right there, and then add to the design. So you can resize it however you like. Um, let's see. We're going to have to make this smaller. We'll deal with that later. Um, okay, so slight problem. <laughs> My form is too big. You can actually go here and you can uh, cancel and then you can go to settings, presentation. <laughs> Where did it go? Form defaults. There was a place where you could go and um, make it smaller. Shoot. I can't get into that right now because I really want to send this live so that you guys can see how we can actually send it live. So let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, so we want that to go right there. We're going to do that there. We want to move this over here. And let's just say there's our um, thing. Maybe I can make it just, ah, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you can resize it on the corners, okay? So when they type in their email name and phone, they're going to go right into your um, Google, your Google Forms. So yay, glad we figured that out on the fly, <laughs> right? Okay, so now you want it to go live. So now all you have to do is share and you can click more. And you can turn this sucker into a website just by doing this. You can use your free domain or you can purchase a domain or you can use your existing domain. So I'm going to click on free because everybody loves free, right? And then we're going to do uh, living, living in Las Vegas guide. Okay. So... My website is going to be super long, but it doesn't really matter, especially if you have like a QR code or something. You can do a QR code going there, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, you're going to publish it. And then you can use this in your social media marketing. Like you could post this on Facebook and say something about it. Like, do you want to know where the best pickleball courts are and the dog parks and 
all the good stuff, you know, so you could do that. And then if you want to view your live website, this is what it looks like. My screen is very big. That's why it looks very big. But you can obviously adjust it, but it is uh, supposed to be good for mobile as well. So I'm going to put this link in the chat so that you guys can check it out. Hopefully it looks good on mobile. And that is how to do landing pages and website all in 30 minutes. <laughs> Anybody? Wendy, can you remind me? We get a copy of this video. Yeah, this video is posted on um, theagentcollective.com, usually within a couple of days. So these are this is not my my call. This is uh, Jesse's call. So um, anyway, so all the videos are reposted there. But that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Sherry, you have a question? Yeah, I'm sorry if this may sound dumb, but how does the uh, the information once they input it into the Google Form relay back to your CRM? Yeah, so it, the thing is, is it's going into your Google Forms. So when you go here and you can automate that through Zapier, like once you get someone that, uh, you know, that filled out the form, this happens, right? So you can send them in a follow-up boss. You can send them an email as soon as they hit follow-up boss with the link to your thing. So like everything there can be automated, um, but your responses are going to be right here. So uh, once they fill out the form, that's going to have a little spreadsheet of everybody that is inquired about this. So, so you can check it regularly, but I definitely encourage automation. Um, that is huge. Because like if you go to our follow-up boss, and I believe our form, we have one and it zaps into follow-up boss. So then there is... Um, there's an email that goes out. So if I don't have follow up boss or KB core, I mean, I'm using the Mayshore method. I would just have to check it manually, essentially. Uh, not really. Doesn't doesn't Mayshore method have Zapier options? Yeah, they do. So I would have to subscribe to that. OK. Yeah, I would I would go through Zapier and um, hop on to Mayshore method uh, office hours and just be like, hey, I'm trying to implement this guide. But see how this goes in? So it just says basically, hi, first name, because they filled out the form, right? Here's mm -hmm. a link to your living in Vegas guide. Enjoy. So then this link, I don't, it's not going to show because I'm in my edit mode, um, goes right to my, um, I turned my guide into a flip book. <laughs> it looks like this, living in Las Vegas. So when they click on that, they go right to here that has the Living in Las Vegas guide that they can just check out. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, automation is way better. You're never going to be able to keep up on that. But having something like that. So if you go to my YouTube. If you go to my YouTube and you go to one of my videos. Welcome to Mount Charleston Chef. Uh, we're going to go to, I know we're out of time. So sorry, so sorry. Um, but I want to go here. And then we're just going to, I think it would be on windmill. It's a good one. More. Right here for a free living in Las Vegas guide. See how my contact info always says for info about this property, go here. Free living in Las Vegas guide, go here. So when they click on it, they're going to go right to the landing page. Yes, it's a lot prettier than the one I just made, but same concept. And then when they enter that, uh, that other email goes out right to them. So it's, it's a lead capture. So then you have a lead and they have this book. And maybe they want to, you know, go shopping with you. Because in the book, the very last page, I have like homes in Las Vegas and I have condos in Las Vegas. I have high rises in Las Vegas. So I have all the different uh, things that they can click on. 
uh, to go shopping. So that's that's another way to get them shopping. Anyway, pretty cool. I'm so excited because I literally learned how to do landing pages and websites in one week. So it is possible, you guys. It's possible. You just got to implement and do the things. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can find me on Tech Tuesday. Next week, we are going to be talking about Canva Bulk Create. Going to be fun. So see you there. Bye, guys. Have a good day. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.